am a grade 5 pupil at Clinton Primary School, ST. I am very glad that I won the third prize in the Olympia Talented in English Competition, or OTE. So congratulations on passing your test with, with such a high score and flying colors. Well, uh, thank you. I was quite proud of that too. And most of my family were very surprised. Mm. Uh, I think my aunt uh, wanted to uh, bring cake. <laughs> okay. What did, how did you celebrate? Well, like I said, my aunt wanted to bring cake, but there's nothing yet. Um, um, my, I, well, I will have to wait until several of my cousins have, are less busy from school so that um, we could do sort of a family gathering. Okay. How did you prepare for the last FCE exam? Well, uh, most of my preparations were made in, uh, in uh, Ahmed Center with Mrs. Vun. Uh, she took a lot of time to help me um, understand the lessons and um, prepare the papers, and exercises, and mock exams for me. Okay. Um, I uh, don't. I didn't exactly uh, do do much at home. Okay. Um, just the usual. Sometimes uh, reading some few short sto English stories, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, after receiving your result and knowing you achieved a grade A at level C1 with flying colors, how did you feel? Well, Mrs. Van had already assured me that um, I will pass the B2 test, but it was a really nice plus to uh, know that I also uh, passed C1 as well. All right. Well, your command of English is impressive, despite the fact that you're in the eighth grade and so very young. Would you care to share your strategies and methods? I honestly have zero strategy whatsoever. Um, I'm not even sure how I got here in the first place. <laughs> um, okay. so, uh, um, somehow, back in uh, second grade or third grade, somewhere in between, I took a liking to English. Okay. I had an, a foreign teacher and I was also quite talkative, so, grad so my, my speaking quickly improved. I've always been reading a lot since I was a little kid, so reading English story just sort of came to me quite naturally. Um, and sometimes I uh, listen to a few uh, podcasts on, on the internet, okay. uh, updates uh, once or twice a month. I think uh, aside from uh, listening to uh, English, uh, US, UK music, that, that's all I got.